Lads and ladies around the world, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. It's me, Forever Asin here, and we are back. We are back, uh, for, well, Epilogue. The Epilogue. <laughs> to the Lantern Rite Festival. We have some characters to talk to, uh, regarding Lantern Rite Festival as a whole. Um, I tried to locate as many characters the vicinity of the Leeway, of Leeway Harbor uh, before the stream started and I will tackle some vets that see right now which uh, pertain to the rest receiver of friends from afar um, which is apparently a cooking event and I'll have to look into it, obviously. I haven't touched the Triumphant Frenzy because, well, I don't think it is quite necessary. Um, I have all, I've, I've also haven't touched the test runs regarding, uh, to, related to Xiao, yeah, so and stuff. And I have to confess that it's been at least a week and a half, a week and a half, uh, since I streamed, because you might not be aware, but I had an extreme severe right ear infection pain, uh, which kept me away from streaming for a long time. I need that to recover, I'm sure that everything would be looking and sounding off, especially <laughs> when you see the space. Uh, Speaking of which, I have a uh, new equipment, uh, and you might not be aware of that as well. But yeah, I bought um, a new camera. Might, which might, <laughs> which might be even better is if you see the video and my face, you will see that it's not, uh, not going a wire, and. As for other news, I also bought Mike. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it right now, but yeah, you can see it. So that is my new mic, and we'll see how that goes. Wisp quality that I might need. But yeah, uh, on other news, in the Genshin Impact, uh, well, lore, I mean, sequence of the day, um, if we go to a mail, we'll see that three days ago, it was, um, Sandronomia's Totomi's birthday. And I kept it, and I kept it until this specific stream slash video. Which, uh, well, quite important, I think. Also, don't mind the lantern right gifts, I hope you have, uh, claimed those specifically. At least, first two. And, yeah, I'm going to delete those. And we're going to read the message sent to us by none other than Totomi himself. Let's see. So, book club meeting. Isn't that, isn't that where she, <laughs> isn't that where she retires where, when she wants to be in peace and alone? To reflect on strategic, strategic book, strategic books and uh other miscellany i think that's that's a little nook that uh she has in watatsumi island recently i've often found myself thinking about how uh, about our how the one piece and how that now as the divine priestess i should be able to do more for the people than i ever could before I'd like to host a book club meeting and invite the people of Watatsumi Island to join. 
and encourage them to read and share their favorite books. I've already made some preliminary predictions in regarding the format, the effect I'd like to achieve, but I like experience in matters such as these, and to not guarantee that every detail has been comprehensively accounted for. If possible, would you be willing to rehearse it with me? We'll have a small-scale meeting as a trial run, with just the two of us as participants. This way, not only can I familiarize myself with the process, we can also discuss our recent reading experiences together. Please don't feel any pressure. Just consider it a picnic with a literary impediment. Sure. Sure. Okay, well, that's in and of itself, guys. Which means birthday message. And, uh, I will definitely enjoy a hard-worn uh, piece with her uh, in her book club meeting. Nah, I'll have some uh, <laughs> some literary companion um, when we have um, a picnic. Yeah, that will be awesome. A stunning stratagem, which is Sentinelomia Turtle in specialty. The egg is wrapped up almost like a package, and the fish tail and is both small and very cute. It really makes you wonder what's inside the package, but at the same time, you can't bear to eat such a pitiful looking thing. You glance at the crystal clear smile in Turtle's eyes. Oh, darn it. You're falling for a trick, haven't you? Delicious egg roll and delicious rainbow aster. And this is the drink that comes from Mondstadt, right? A unique drink. Hell lilies from Mondstadt and lavender melons from Inazuma meet from across mountains and seas before having their flavors blended together to perfection using smooth silk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Using the smooth milk, not silk. Anyways, novel satisfaction guaranteed. Indeed, it is utterly unsurprising that the ill shodan in the tale was re energized. Merit is doing alone. Alright, so that was Sendomi Tokomi's letter for her specific birthday. As I said a few days ago. So, happy belated birthday to you, wrote me. Hope, uh, hope you've appreciated it. Hope you've appreciated it. And that, um, at least you had someone to read with. But yeah. That out of the way. Before we move on, lads and ladies. Um, if... You enjoy the content on the side of YouTube, and you can't wait to see more over there. Future, you know what to do. It's that subscribe button. Also, please give a like video and share with all your friends as well, and. Activate the notification bell so you never miss a video from me in the future. I also dabbled in shorts, so I think I posted two shorts on YouTube right now. So yeah, go we'll have a look and write in the comment section what you think about it. Um, also, you <laughs> before I move on even further, then if you enjoyed the, the content on YouTube. And you want to see the raw, unedited, and fully, well, magnificent experience here on Twitch, then you also know what to do. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash forever where you might experience all of my shenanigans with, uh, well, the Genshin Impact streams as well as the uh, one try Star Rail stream. Come out. 
And yeah. Also, be forever ganged, which is our Discord. If you want to be a part of the community and enjoy your time with amazing and friendly charities over there, you know what to do. Head over. Um, also, socials, Twitter, Instagrams, not Instagrams, Instagram. <laughs> that as well. And yeah. I guess that's all that I wanted to talk about. So, I guess that without further ado, there's no point in delaying. And I'll move on. Let's go, guys. First off, we're going to touch. We're going Boring. to talk to every Isn't there anything else more interesting character to that do? I came across in Leeway Harbor. But I think we're going to stop from point left all the way to the right. So I think we're going to do it there. New year always brings of characters. Maybe we'll start with uh, an interesting development. Go so first, lads and ladies. You see these two persons over there? These two people? Yeah. You might come across them at the uh, Wolfland Bank. Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so If I remember much? correctly, mm, Vlad, which is the man. There works the day shift, and Nadia, the, the gal over there, does the night shift. And they've been sending each other letters for God knows how long. But now, two lovebirds are reunited. This lantern rite festival. This lantern rite festival. Which is a, a special occasion. And one and is worth remembering. Tea parties because are a must after for all, the well we as if travelers like to learn the are etiquette, witnessing. I'd be happy to teach you. So let's witness. Let's witness. Creation of this uh, loving chapel right now. Let's have a look. Let's see. What they say. Do you ever think that it might be some tides that can no longer be retrieved after being sent up into the sky? I guess so. Even if you could control the line, the wind might decline your commands all the same. Speaking of that, should we go buy one? I mean, I haven't flown one before, so I'm not sure if it will work out. Or, let's say we make one together. Alright. <laughs> I've seen kids discussing the patterns they want to draw on theirs, though it might not be that difficult. Two of us? Sure. Let's give it a go. A round of applause. A round of applause. Vlad and Nadia <laughs> being together together. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, and this couple has been uh, in its inception for uh, so long. And now that they are together under the same uh, day, time, or night time, whatever, uh, might become a couple. I mean, they are, I think they're already a couple, but yeah, I want to, I want to, to see maybe them uh, going back to Shneznaya and becoming married over there. And we are tenants <laughs> to this specific event. I know. I mean, this could happen. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. 
Next up, we have Charlotte. Oh, Lantern Right was simply amazing. I'm not sure I'll be able to sleep tonight. Um, about the um, mechanical vertical lifting device I spoke of. Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. Hmm, tell me. It was invented by a guy from Fontaine. His name is Ildison. Ildison. He's always tinkering away at some mechanism or another. He's even asked the Steambird to write about his inventions on more than one occasion. I believe I have a direct quote from him about this particular one. It, ah, yes, here it is. The okay. device is powered entirely by mechanical components without the need for any additional energy source. Hmm. Interesting. Basically, it's a manually operated cranking device. How high it can fly entirely depends on how much force you can exert. Impressive. Combining this invention with a kite. What a great idea, right? Uh, yeah, and uh, about the interview that you had, um, and the fact that you started working together with Garmin's father. Oh, my conversation with Mr. Ip went really well. I've already sent the first draft of my article back to the Steambird. Nice. It's a piece that contains all the pertinent information while also telling a story. I'm quite proud of it. Oh, that reminds me. I should thank everyone who made this possible for me. Especially that spirited lady with those peculiar turns of phrase. Miss Shenyun was her name, right? <laughs> John Yoon. It was all thanks to your connections and creativity. I would have never thought I'd be able to bring such a special gift back to Fontaine with me. Well, I mean, what can I say? Traveling for so long, of course you're gonna have to create some connections and creativity in order to help people out. Um, about Lantern Rite. This was my first time experiencing a foreign holiday in person. It was so exciting! Glad you enjoyed the challenge. The festive atmosphere, the contagious holiday spirit, the profound, storied cultural traditions steeped in symbolism. Two. Oh, I almost forgot. Kuching even gave me a kite with a poem on it that she wrote herself. Really? That's impressive. What did she say? Oh, uh, at least what did she wrote? It goes, Dreams are like paper kites. With them do our hopes take flight. Sailing high above the clouds, they yearn for something more profound. Yet try we may and try we might. A deeper truth waits in plain sight. Though we hang our hopes in skies abound, many joys lie on the ground. Oh. I want to include this poem in my special feature on Lantern Right. I'm sure a lot of people will love it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be um, a special feature that when we go back to Fontaine for another festival or festive event related. I'm sure that someone will try to either copy it or make derivative from that. Oh well, until next time, Charlotte. 
Yep, and happy lantern right to you. And happy lantern right to you too. So that is Charlotte down. Now, you might have seen two men hanging over by the Minodius statue. That's you. Finishing. <laughs> I'd like to draw it. And, uh, you know who they are. You don't need. No need explaining, right? Yehu and Hu Zhang. Given your present countenance, one presumes you are missing some old friends again. Uh huh. One cannot help but be reminded of them. Do they talk or not? Pray speak. Oh. Unburden yourself of these sentiments. One simply wishes Monogius were alive to witness such peace alongside us. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. He was so skilled in matters of craftsmanship. Kite making would scarcely prove to be a test of his capabilities. Were he yet amongst the living, he could have opened a kite stall. One is certain it would have been an establishment rich not only in profit, but also esteem. Yeah. Yeah. And if, as in the past, he were unable to involve himself in matters of the mortal realm, we could sell the kites in his stead. When we finished, we could bring him back wine and partake in drink and good company. Mooncarver, those are now but fond moments in our memories. Indeed. The dead are gone, so as the representatives of the living. Let us take in the sights for a bit longer, if just for his sake. Nodius, an old to pieces. It was um it was an example to craftsmanship. The tailor. Do it well. Tale of Minodius, as they call it. Now, um, on to the next one. Our kite is so high up. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, Yao Yao. I am having a lot of fun. I'm glad. If you want, we can go fly kites some other time, too. The fun doesn't have to end today. Really? Really? How about we do it during the day next time? That way, we can see the design better. When it flies super high up, it will look exactly like a real finch. Okay. Uh, can I take this kite to bed with me? <laughs> Do 
But of course. Ichi and Yao Yao. Them? Now. Next one. This group is Jamming and Iptach. Let's go. So you're still a big fan of winter melon cake then? Oh, <laughs> I guess you heard everything Paimon was saying, huh? <laughs> <laughs> of course. She was talking about you. As your father, how could I not listen? Remember back when you were a kid, and you would sit on my shoulders to watch the Wusho dance? Oh, on our way back home. You would beg me to buy you some winter melon cake. <laughs> we would only buy two at a time. But before long, we tried the winter melon cake from every vendor that street had to offer. There was also that one time you used your pocket money to treat me. Do you still remember? Wow. That's wholesome to see them ever actually interacting without any preconceived ideas about what the other will say. Really, really wholesome. I haven't posted, posted um, the end of the Lantern Right Festival onto YouTube yet, but the Last cutscene, this Lantern Ride Festival. Yeah, it took a toll on my feelings. <laughs> yeah, I remember. That was the best winter melon cake I ever had. Let's go back sometime. The shop's still there and. I remember the way. My treat, just like before. I mean, is best boy. You, you, you won't change my mind. Right now? Yeah. I hope we see more of Gromin, to be honest. I hope we see him in, um... I hope we see him in other events. And that he... And that Chelubian is actually able to voice uh, a character for a more. Which is, um... I think, I think, um, LBN also voices the Trailblazer on Dice Star Rail. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah. Drumming. It's always, always his treat. <laughs> uh, Alright, so that was Drumming in the Thatch. Oh. Now. I think. That, um. Still some people that I do talk to. I'll do this way. I hope you'll be able to find the kite of your dreams. Hello, Inger. Them. Q. 
Here's a long leap that. Even though we're not going to see him. We're going to see the Geo Traveler. Hmm. Uh, one may have won the kite flying competition, Yu Hung, but this prize should truly be reserved for another. <laughs> One may have won a kite flying competition, Yuhan, but this prize should truly be reserved for another. So she won the kite flying competition. Yeah, it, it was deserved, to be honest, but I don't think she doesn't want it. You need not be so humble, honored Adeptus. Among all the kites, yours was quite literally a cut above the rest. Please accept this prize. You deserve it. <laughs> Besides, I'm quite certain we owe a fair share of the success of this year's lantern rite to you. Yeah. You think of it, yeah. The success of this year's lantern rite was actually uh Due to her uh, dedication, the fact that in the cutscene when all of the um, kites were lacking wind, she used her adeptite pa powers in order to create a gale that would send the, all the kites flying up in the sky. That's impressive. If you insist, mm, then one can insist, hardly continue to one refuse. Can However, there is another matter with which one would ask your assistance. Oh? Of course. Hmm. One would be much obliged if you could distribute this case <laughs> of Sunglow tea among the Millilith on duty. Of course. Um. The security oh. of the festivities rests entirely <laughs> on their shoulders, after all. One presumes they could Richie always benefit from something to invigorate their off. spirits. Unload C. <sighs> Cloud Retainer is so thoughtful and attentive to others' needs. I would expect nothing less of an esteemed adeptus such yeah. as herself. I mean, pitching, pitching might be a fan drilling, even though this is not Red Slap is or Morax or John Lee or whatever. This is an adeptus, so quite close to John, John Lee, yeah. Understood. I'll get on that right away. <sighs> a fortuitous mm, yeah. result indeed. <laughs> One's tea surplus has hitherto resolved itself. Yeah, I knew it. it. Was not in vain. All right. Well, I think those are all of the uh, characters, at least in Liwei Harbor, I've seen related to this uh, Lantern Ride Festival. If I've missed any, I'll uh, drop it in the comments down below to see if uh, you've you encountered uh, more characters uh, in Leeway. Or, yeah, it's, it'd be in Leeway. I mean, I, albeit I know that in uh, Xiaoing Village, we have Hu Tao, Hu Tao, Farina. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. Yeah, Hu Tao, Farina, Florent, Navia, those who share the memory? Jean Lee. And we talked to Nouvellet as well. But yeah. That is a uh, quick. Why not? 
talk to Ganyu and Shinha? Really? I don't get it. Don't get it? Is something wrong, Shanha? Tell me. Perhaps I can help. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. So I thought this outfit would be acceptable to wear to work. But Xiangling told me it was inappropriate. Huh? Any more? <laughs> but inappropriate? How? She probably just meant the outfit isn't suitable for that particular environment and occasion. But for a festival gathering with friends, a nighttime stroll, or an important banquet, your outfit is more than appropriate, Shenha. Yep. So you're saying it's only something I should wear in front of important people? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> I suppose that's another way to think of it. Oh, motion, huh? Your outfit is absolutely magnificent. 